Hi everyone, and welcome back to this series of practice problems uh, in uh, circuit analysis. And in this question, uh, we would like to use Nodal to solve a previously uh, question that we uh, solved uh, using uh, KCL and KVL. And uh, this question in Nodal, we want to find again VE and VB, where this is your VE and this is your VB. So we want to see. Uh, compared to the previous nodal question, when we, when we have only independent current sources, is there any change in the procedure? And also, when I compare the complexity of the problem compared to the KCL KVL, because we solved this using KCL and KVL, and we ended up having five equations. So we will compare the two at, at the end. Okay, so what is the first thing we do in nodal? We need to select a reference. We said that when we have an independent current sources, there is no difference between node A to node B. However, when we have a voltage source, then yes, it makes a difference. And you can, by properly select the grounding point, you can have make the problem uh, relatively easier. So as a rule of thumb, what we do, we select the node connected to the negative side of the voltage source. So this node will be our reference. And now we know that a reference means what? Means V is equal to zero. Okay, so we select that. Why we do that? We will uh, figure out this in a few seconds. Step number two, what we do? We assign voltages to, to N minus now one uh, number of nodes. So I will call this node, I will call this is V1. This is V2. And this is V3. So we have four nodes, three of them assigned voltages, and the fourth one is our, our reference. Now, what is next? We start applying KCL. But before that, there's something here we need to, to uh, look into it carefully. If we look to node number one and the reference between one and the reference, so basically, what is this? V1 or V2 or V3, it is the voltage between this point and the reference. V2 between this point and the reference. V3 between this point and the reference. So basically, all these node voltages are referenced to our common reference point for all nodes. Now, if you go back to V1, V1 is the voltage between this point and the ground. But wait a second. Between this point and the ground, there is this voltage source. So basically, V1 is the 10 volt because the 10 volt is connected between the same two points. So basically, V1 is equal to 10. And this is our first equation. So we already, without solving any equations, found the voltage at node 1. And this is why we selected the ground at the negative side of the voltage source so that we can eliminate one of the nodes from the equations. So I don't need to apply any KCL here because we already know the voltage at this specific node. So basically, we end up having only two unknowns. So we need how many equations? Two equations. Remember, two versus five. How efficient is the nodal analysis compared to the KCL and KV, KVL? So now let's start applying the uh, KCL at V, V2. So assume what we do, we assume the currents are leaving. We said this is relative, so you can assume any current direction. As far as apply the KCL rule, current enter the node equal to current leaves the node. So now all the currents are leaving the node. So we have this current to the left, which is the voltage here, minus the voltage there divided by the resistance in between. So it is V2 minus V1, no, minus 10, because I already know the voltage, so I don't need to call it V1 anymore, minus 10 divided by the resistance in between, which is 1, 1K, one plus the current going down, it is V2 minus what? What is the voltage here? Zero divided by the resistance in between, which is 1K, plus current going to the right, V2 minus V3 divided by the resistance in between, which is 1K. That's it. We have 1, 2, 3 currents, 1, 2, 
three items so this is equal to zero now i'd like to just play a little bit with the equation so i will multiply by 1k so we can make it uh, looks nicer so it is multiply 1k everything here so it becomes v2 minus 10 plus v2 plus v2 minus v3 equal to, to zero we have v2 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 so it is 3 v2 minus v3 equal to 10 and this is our first equation two unknowns one equation we need one more and we are done so we apply kcl at v3 now we ignore this current directions as if they don't exist and assume the currents are leaving the node as well so the current to the left v3 minus v2 divided by 1k plus the current going down v3 minus 0 divided by 2k plus the current going up v3 minus v1 which is 10 divided by 2k and this is equal to, to uh, 0 so I will multiply by the least common factor which is 2k so we have here 2 v3 minus v2 plus v3 plus v3 minus 10 equal to 0 so we will have minus 2 v2 plus 4 v3 equal to equal to 10 and this is my second second equation so we have equation one and we have equation two now our electrical engineering part is done the rest is what the rest is just math okay so let me rewrite the two equations here 3 v 2 minus v 3 is equal to 10 that was my first equation and the second one uh, was minus 2 v2 plus 4 v3 is equal to 10 as well this is number number two so to for example get rid of v3 so i will multiply this equation times 4 so we'll have here 12 v2 minus 4 v3 equal to 40 so i multiplied the first equation by 4 so 4 12 minus 4 plus 40 and this is my third equation so 2 and 3 what i will do i will just add them so 10 v2 this will cancel and this is equal to 50 so your v2 will equal to what equal to 5 5 volt okay now substitute in one or two doesn't really matter in one so we will have 3 v2 which is 5 minus v3 is equal to 10 so 15 minus v3 is equal to 10 so it means that your v3 is equal to 5 volt as well so now we found v2 which is 5 v3 is equal to 5 v1 is equal to 10 volt okay so remember what is the main objective of the nodal voltages find the voltage of every single node and we already did now let's see what do we want to find va what is va v is the voltage difference between this point and this point or v1 minus v2 so it's v1 minus v2 which is equal to 10 minus 5 which is equal to 5 volt what is vb vb is basically the uh, voltage between difference between this voltage and that voltage which is equal to 0 minus 5 which is equal to minus 5 5 volt and now we understand why the current here is equal to zero. 
because the voltage here is five, the voltage here is five, okay? So there's no voltage difference. So the current, this current is equal to zero as we have seen in the previous KVL. So obviously and clearly that the uh, nodal analysis is way more efficient in uh, when, when compared to KCL and, and uh, KVL. Now I will do a little demo of the circuit to show you uh, how we do the measurement between the reference point and all these all these nodes. Uh, this is the circuit that I just solved using the nodal uh, analysis, and here it is constructed. And at the bottom part, you see here the terminal uh, connected to the reference point between all the nodes. So we have here node 1, node 2, and node 3. So when we come and measure the voltage of node number 1, which is connecting the uh, voltage source, to the reference point v1 so v1 is at this point it is equal to the, the tone 10 volt which is the supply supply voltage and then we will have node 2 which is v2 as you can see it here so this is your v2 which is around 5 volt finally v3 is the one at the far right which is here it is this this node which is also equal to 5 5 volts so you see here all the measurement i am t doing here is with respect to what with respect to my reference so i don't need to change the other probe the other probe connected to my reference this is my reference point and every single voltage here is with respect to this common point